Okay, so, oh gosh, <laughs> that didn't come out very well. I don't think I've spoken at all today. I should have probably warmed up a little bit before I started this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do a, a video about um, the latest book I've read. I am reading some amazing books at the moment. Um, at the moment I'm reading Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. It's amazing. I'm halfway through, but I'll do a... Um, a review as soon as I'm done with that one but I've also read another good one um, earlier this month and it was The Life and Death of Sophie Stark by Anna Nall. Um, I picked this up in the library uh, just because it looks I love um, books with nice like simple pictures and really good text on them I, I do love my what's it called typography that's it I like typography um, and that's a really pretty one I thought so I quite liked that so that's what drew me to it and I am one of those people who judges a book by its cover so yeah I went straight for it um, I'd never heard of Anna North oh something else that did draw me to it uh, it was reviewed by Lena Dunham and I have a bit of a girl crush on Lena Dunham I love anything by her I know she's quite a Marmite character you either love her or hate her but um, I loved her, uh, loved her, I love her, and um, I love girls, and I love, um, I loved, not that kind of girl, her book, so yeah, big fan, so that drew me to it as well, but this book is about a girl called Sophie Stark, but it's told from six different perspectives, from people who have known her throughout her life, um, and I quite liked that just because that broke it up a bit. Uh, I am one of those readers, I can't read huge long passages, I quite like shorter chunks. So although these weren't in short chunks, it changed the story completely because um, you were reading it from a different viewpoint. Um, there was, they changed the kind of voice as well. So it made it like six individual stories all in one, although they were all linked obviously because there was this one girl called Sophie who link them all. Um, so Sophie is a filmmaker. She's a bit of an oddball. Um, and I think that's what drew me to her initially because uh, I just love quirky characters that nobody else gets. Um, and I did notice in the back there was the um, book club questions. And one of the questions was if you entered the orbit of Sophie Stark, do you think you would have stayed there or would you have run away? <laughs> and uh, I read that question and it was like, would anyone run away? I couldn't understand why anyone would run away. I would love to be friends with Sophie Stark. But obviously that is a, div a dividing thing and maybe that's what makes me, me. I don't know, but I, I loved her. I just thought, yeah, she was the kind of person that I'd want to be friends with, even though she was quite odd and weird in some ways um, but it showed you from the point of view of her brother and what she was like growing up and then uh, it went back to him later on as well when they were a bit older it showed the point of view of her husband when they first met um, it showed the point of view of she had a lesbian lover um, called Alison and it showed you from her point of view and she had her early on and as an older person as well um, and I won't tell you exactly what happens in the end but it kind of shows you uh, some of the pain that she inflicted on people around her and I know that sounds weird because I just said I wanted to be friends with her but she she does just call oh the blinking window washer has arrived okay that's embarrassing so um um i forgot where i was ah uh, yeah it really focuses on her as an artist and um how she suffers for her art, how the people around her suffer for her art, 
Um, it does really question what art is about as well, which I quite liked. I mean, you could just read the book for what it was on the surface and it's a lovely story and that's fine. You'd get so much out of it. But if you do want to look a bit deeper about um, art and what that means and what it takes to create art and whether you're stealing a little bit of people around you for art, it does question all of those things. Sorry, I'm still working in the window cleaner. So yeah, this has been a really rubbish video because the window cleaner has just gone and ruined it completely. But it uh, is a great book. Um, I am gonna go away and do some of the um, book club questions as well. Um, I start, I've started to think that I will probably just start writing them down in a notebook, um, almost like a journal. I mean, people have art journals and um, they have travel journals, so why not have a literary journal? Um, and most books do have those book club questions in the back now. So this one's kind of made me think that maybe I should do that. Um, so that maybe there's something I'll start doing. But yeah, I do highly recommend this one. Um, if you like some of the other books that I've read then you'll probably like this one because I liked it so if you've got the same taste as me you'll like it um, but it is quite sad and quite shocking um, yeah it is quite a shocking book but I like shocking books I like books that just make me go oh, are they allowed to say that? I don't know I like those kind of books um, I think that's something that I like about art as well, if we're going to go along that, that line of thinking. Um, yeah, I like art and literature that makes me think about life and makes me think about um, what it means to be human and... what it means to have relationships with other humans. And this definitely, definitely looks at that because you're looking at the people closest to her and some of them really don't like her in the end. Um, and that's quite sad. Um, yeah, I've just made myself really sad thinking about stuff like that. So maybe, but then again, there we go. That's what it was doing. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make me think. So I'll just go and be sad for a little while uh, and turn the camera off because now the window cleaner has gone to the other side of the street and can see me properly. So yeah, pick this one up and I'll let you know what, Elifa, oh, Elifa, oh, Elena Oliphant is like later. It's really good so far, so it'll probably be good. Bye.